Hello, we're in Taipei. Oh, holiday! Yeah, I I had some free time, and so I'm in uh, Taipei with some friends to see some friends. It's my first time here. Too many people surprised, given how close Taipei is to like Hong Kong. It's two hours flight. So uh, I'm up to my usual shenanigans: going around the city, eating a lot of food, uh, visiting a pen shop or two making another travelogue. There's so many things I can talk about. First things first, trusty friend. It's my Sony Next 6 with my travel lens. It's a nice 16-70 f4 that I feel is enough for what I usually take photos of. It's mostly just street shots and food. I have my usual beef house sketchbook. Everything colourful. Here, have a burger came all the way here to took my time for a burger and some stamps that's what I usually do it's just pictures of food and pens as for pens I brought along a mostly empty rep in recent travelogues I, I, I've started to do more freeform watercolors with my pocket Sakura pocket watercolor set it has 24 colors it came with a water brush that no longer works I now use a a Kuretake water brush. Especially with water brushes, after like one or two years, a lot of them just tend to, the water just doesn't come out and you can't keep your brush saturated enough to get ink off the palette. I don't know when I'm going to finish using this water set. It's been like three, four years. Uh, I've barely made a dent. But when I finally finish it, I can replace it with more high-end stuff. Maybe like, ask me again 15 years. So obviously I have water brushes, I have uh, this time's ex this trip's experiment is with a a pigment pen. I know this is not a fountain pen, but most fountain pens can't really cut it when it turns to superior the, the superior water fastness. This is not obviously not the best. I got this in a pack. I have a friend who's who's, who's also into fountain pens, and her preferred pen is a Sakura Micron, whatever they're called. And, and those have really fine nibs. So this is for a little bit of outlining in my watercolor sketches. Inked pens include the upgrade to the VAC 700, the Pilot 823. I filled it with my favorite ink, which is the Sailor Okuyama. It made a tiny little bubbly burp on, on the plane, but it's been fine now. No ink actually spilled out. It currently has my FA nib in. So that's inked. The only other pens I have inked include a preppy because I needed to remind myself that I, that, that I really like the default platinum non-pigmented black. It's not a beautiful black, it's just a very reliable black that dries fast, doesn't smudge or anything. And I have a palette petite from last trip which still has a tiny bit of ink in it. I don't know why I brought it along. It was just small. So I, I basically only have three pens. Okay, four pens. I also have my uh, Nikaya, which I haven't used yet. And then there are my uninked pens, which I brought along because I'll be seeing pen people. And so I have my Twisby, back, uh, Twisby 580. I have my very pretty Omas and three sailors. Of course, he'd bring his sailors. They're not inked because I'm, I'm counting on, I'm counting on me bumping into people with ink, or I'll be buying ink as well. These are all inked, and they all have empty ink cartridges. I'm oh, sorry, empty ink converters. Two of them are the new purchases: the Sailor Regency Stripe and the Sailor Four Seasons Winter, uh, the Winter one. 
and I have my the old trusty pro, yellow pro gear. So that represents 21k EF, 14k MF, and 21k medium nib sizes. So I have a bunch of uninked pens, some ink pens, uh, and yes, I, I visited uh, the pens one pen store. I think it's called Pen Studio. That, that's the approximate translation from uh, its, its actual Chinese name. The shop assistants have been known to, apparently have been known to be rude, but I went full English tourist mode and they were very nice, so I can't really comment on their, their rudeness. They were, they were polite. And they, they, they had a good selection of Japanese and, Euro and European brands. They, they had a lot of, they, they actually had like Aurora, Stipula, like, like, like a good shelf of like these other ones. And I bought, let me make some space here, two more preppies for a hundred, around 140, 150 Taiwanese dollars. It's around five US dollars, which is a little bit more expensive than they usually, they, they, they should usually be around 250, but they came with uh, these super basic, the super basic converters. It, it's like a plunger style. It's, it's not screw, it's just like straight up. I also bought the Platinum Black. I am no way sponsored by, by Platinum. I, I just really like their black ink. This is a very old looking Sailor. Sailor 300? I think it was meant for Taiwan or something. I, I the whole point being, it doesn't just have Sailor and 300, but I think 300 is that specific model. At the bottom, there's also the Chinese name for Sailor, which is Xie Le, which sounds like Sailor. And also, conveniently, other words for writing and happiness. I think this is called the F4. It's metal body that comes in plastic bodies. And Sailor has three types of lower end steel nibs. One is these mostly flat, slightly curved, uh, very plain looking steel one you find on clear candies. The other one is the very small version of the actual 14K, 21K nibs. It has the small and thin, sort of like, not quite like this, but, but it, it has a more, it's like if you took an actual gold sailor nib and like shrunk it down, maybe, maybe pinched it a little bit thinner and and has the full sailor print on it. This is the third type. It's on the F series. And it sort of reminds me of the Pelican Twist and the Lamy Safari nib shapes, but without without the extra metal folded underneath to, 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 like, to like fit it down. It, it's just not like a regular nib. I did not test these, these were cheap pens. 15 US, um, which is like a very nice low end, end, end price. So I'm going to unpack these and briefly comment on, on, on like the quality. I, I swear these come in separately and they just package it because outside the store they're, they're, they're like two, two, two on tables. On the table like recommended items and had preppies, faris, some like the, like the manuscript calligraphy um, sets, some dip nibs the Kaverco calligraphy sets. And on the right outside was a whole bunch of the Lamy, the long, small black Lamy boxes and someone packaging safaris into boxes. So it's all like they, they send the pens to them and the boxes to them separately and they have to get manual labor to, to, to actually pack it in. Usually when I buy preppies, they don't come in bags. So, so there's that. Uh, let's just grab some. Spare paper. And we have ink. We don't, we don't exactly need ink. That's smooth. It's a little bit rough, but it's probably passable. That, that's a smooth sound. Eventually, I'm going to do an actual full comparison of like all the cheap pens, but first I have to collect them all first. Uh, so this is an inked Preppy 0.3. It's very like, like low sound uh, because 
there's not much friction so there's less vibration so you should expect the sort of nib sound you hear to be fairly low now in cue it's a little bit more high pitched down strokes are fine side strokes it's a, you can hear it's a little bit higher pitched so uh, this one's somewhere in between those two I hope it, it, it's audible, it, it, it's a slightly lower sound. Uh, should I ink this or not? They were very nice. They did tell me, oh, hey, we don't have any Sailor cartridges and we don't sell Sailor converters. Are you okay with this being whatever? And I was like, it's fine. I, I, I have Sailor, I have three Sailor converters on me. That's a pleasant surprise. It's such a dinky little 30 milliliter bottle. That's 30? How big are the Yoroshi Zuku small? I think they're 15. Okay. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do a quick run. Whoops, what's going on here? There we go. Wow, that's really fine. Variation, very tiny. Well, wow. as far as fine nibs go, that's that's, that's pretty impressive. I will be visiting TY Lee tomorrow. I'll also be meeting up with a group or two of pen people. So until later, I'm gonna continue working on my travelogue. I'm always behind. Mutter, mutter.